Underwater sections are a huge part of Mario Kart now. Ever since they were introduced in Mario Kart 7, players can now go under the water. But what if we just tried to avoid all the water in every single course? Well, that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to try and beat all 96 tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe without touching any water. So what counts as touching water? Well, I'll count it as a visual effect where the character will look like they have water on them, not just a propeller on your cart like most water sections. So with all that said, let's get into the video. Starting off with the Mushroom Cup, Mario Circuit has no water in it, so it's obviously possible to clear. Next up is Water Park, and guessing by the name, yup, it's not possible. There's so much water, and it's literally impossible to avoid. And unfortunately, Sweet Sweet Canyon also isn't impossible because the stage plunges you in a huge lake of syrup. At least, I, I think this is syrup, but I'm still counting it as water. Thankfully, the Womp Ruins is possible because all the water here is optional. You can easily avoid it by going on the skinny paths. So that's it for the Mushroom Cup. Let's move on to the Fire Cup. Mario Circuit has no water in it, so thankfully it's possible. All the water on Toad Harbor is out of bounds, so obviously we can clear this without difficulty. Now I thought Twisted Mansion was going to be a breeze, but unfortunately there's a huge water section I forgot about and it's definitely not possible. Even though Shy Guy Falls has a lot of waterfalls, this might be possible. There's boost panels that we might be able to hop across to avoid it. I have a shrivel of hope that this might be possible somehow, but I'm marking it as impossible for now since I wasn't able to do it. Moving on to the Star Cup, thankfully Sunshine Airport is very easy to clear. And for Dolphin Shoals... Yup, this definitely isn't possible. Electrodrome also has no water, all of it's out of bounds, and Mount Wario is also pretty tricky. The first part is a huge gliding section with a bunch of water, but thankfully, you can glide over it. However, the dam part is pretty difficult. Although I wasn't able to clear it, I'm also certain that this is definitely possible. So if anyone manages to get past this, please send it to me on Discord. Next up for the special cup, Cloudtop Cruise has no water in it, so it's obviously possible. And Bone Dry Dunes is a literal desert, so there's no water in sight. Same goes with Bowser's Castle, there's only a lot of lava, no water. And Rainbow Road takes place in space, and I'm pretty sure that there's no water floating in space, so this one's also possible, marking the entire special cup to be possible. Next up is the Egg Cup, and as long as you don't take the shortcut in Yoshi Circuit, you'll be fine. Excite Bike Arena also has no water whatsoever, and the same goes for Dragon Driftway. And Mute City, surprise surprise, has no water in the entire course. Baby Park and Cheese Land have no water in them. Now Wild Woods was actually pretty interesting, because there's this huge section with a bunch of flowing water, so I had to carefully go around it, which was pretty nerve wracking. And next up are these jumps across lily pads, which took me a few attempts, but surprisingly is possible. So thankfully this course is definitely possible. Now Animal Crossing also gave me some troubles, because there's some floating water near the end, which I couldn't get enough height to cross. But thankfully after switching my combo and tinkering around for a bit, I was able to get past it and clear the stage. So yeah, a pretty good amount of courses haven't been possible so far, but let's move on to the retro tracks. Starting the retro tracks off with the Shell Cup, Moo Moo Meadows and Mario Circuit both had no water in them. Now Cheap Cheap Beach was pretty interesting, cause I thought this was gonna be impossible, because duh, it's a beach. But actually, all the water in this stage is optional, so you can clear this with no trouble. And of course, Toad's Turnpike has no water either, so this cup is 100% possible. Moving on to the Banana Cup, I thought Dry Dry Desert was gonna be a breeze because it's Dry Dry Desert, how is there water? But then I forgot that there's an oasis at the end, but thankfully, you could just drive around it and clear the course. Now Donut Plains 3 was where the real trouble started to set in. I could not cross this gap for the life of me. I probably tried 200 times, but I could just not get myself on this wall. It's probably possible with a task spot or something, but I wasn't able to do it, so I'm gonna mark it as impossible. Like the last impossible course, please DM me on Discord if you can figure this one out, and I'll shout you out in the next video. But moving on to Royal Wasteway, you just fly over all the water anyway, so it's possible. In DK Jungle, you can also fly over the water, so of course this one's possible too. At first, I thought Wario Stadium was gonna be a breeze, but then I realized it's a mandatory water part, so it's definitely not possible. Thankfully, Sherbert Land's water is all possible, and music Music Park and Yoshi Valley have no water in them. Moving on to the Lightning Cup, TikTok Clock has no water in it whatsoever, and Piranha Plant Slide has a mandatory water part, so it's not possible. Grumble Volcano takes place in literal hell, so of course there's no water here, and N64 Rainbow Road takes place in the sky, so there's no water in sight. For the Triforce Cup, 
Wario's Gold Mine, SNES Rainbow Road, Ice Ice Outpost, and Hyrule Circuit are all possible. Now, Neil Bowser City is a tricky one, because I mean, are we technically touching water? I know it's rain, which is water, but I really don't know whether to count this. I'm just gonna say this is possible, because although it's rain, there's not like huge clumps of water, like a waterfall or like actual bodies of water, so I'm gonna count it as possible. Ribbon Road and Super Bell Subway have no water in them, so they're easy as pie to complete. And I thought Big Blue was gonna be similar to Mute City, but there's actually a good amount of water in this course. And thankfully, you can avoid all of it by doing a lot of careful driving. So so that wraps up the retro track. Let's move on to the DLC courses. Starting off with the Golden Dash Cup, Paris Promenade, Toad Circuit, Choco Mountain, and Coconut Mall all have barely any water in them and are possible. And for the Lucky Cat Cup, Tokyo Blur, Shroom Ridge, Sky Garden, and Ninja Hideaway are also possible. And same goes for the Turnip Cup, every single course is possible here. And surprise surprise, same goes for the Propeller Cup, every single course is possible. I'm pretty sure 4 cups in a row is the new record for the most courses that have been possible so far. Unfortunately our luck ends with the Rock Cup. Although London Loop is possible, Blue Lake is pretty much a water course, so this one isn't possible. At least Rock Rock Mountain and Maple Treeway are possible, so let's move on to the Moon Cup. Thankfully we have better luck here, in Berlin Byways, Peach Gardens, Murray Mountain, and 3DS Rainbow Road are all possible. Unfortunately, we're not having a great start to the Fruit Cup, because Amsterdam Drift has its mandatory water section. And for Riverside Park, you have to go through a mandatory waterfall, so this one's also not possible. DK Summit is at least possible, but Yochi's Island also isn't, because there's a mandatory water section. Unfortunately, Bangkok Rush is impossible, because there's a body of water that we have to drive through. But thankfully, every other track is possible, the boomerang cup so let's move on and we have a great start to the feather cup because athens dash is also possible daisy cruiser has some water in it but thankfully all of it's optional as long as you just stay on the main path moonview highway is a highway so obviously there's no water here but squeaky clean sprint has you going through a bathtub so this one isn't possible LA Laps in the Cherry Cup has some water, but you can avoid all of it. In Sunset Wilds, it's a desert, so there's no water here to be found. Koopa Cape's water section in the pipe is unfortunately mandatory, so this one isn't possible. But thankfully, Vancouver Velocity is possible, ending the Cherry Cup on a high note. And for the Acorn Cup, Roma Vanti, DK Mountain, and Daisy Circuit are all possible. The only one here that's impossible is Piranha Plant Cove, because I mean, just look at it, we spawn in water. For our last cup, Madrid Drive thankfully has no water in it, and Rosalina's Ice World has some water, but you can just jump over it. Bowser's Castle 3 is a huge lava castle, so obviously there's no water here, and Wee Rainbow Road takes place in space, marking the entirety of the Spiny Cup possible. So, how many tracks were possible here? 17 out of the 96 tracks were impossible. That's a pretty low amount, lower than I thought it would be. After all, this game's gimmick is going underwater, so I'm pretty surprised by this. And let me tell you, recording this video was a doozy. But thankfully my Joy-Cons don't drift anymore, so it's a seamless experience. And why is that? Well, that's because of our video sponsor, Handheld DIY. These guys make very high quality joysticks for your Joy-Cons, and they have no drift in them, so you never have to worry about drift. They are so easy to install and feel great on your thumbs. Once I install these on my Joy-Cons, I use them all the time because now I don't have to worry about drift and I don't have to worry about the hassle it is to send my Joy-Cons to Nintendo every month when they drift. And they're super easy to install. It only took me like 10 minutes to install two joysticks. So if you want to get joysticks that don't drift, use code CAMGAMES to get 10% off your order with the link in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching the video and if you liked it, why not check out my video about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe but without touching boost panels because it's a really wild video and I know you'll enjoy it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.